Hey there. Today's video is going to be on first aid. Drum first aid, that is. So uh, we're all on lockdown here right now, and uh, I'm sure a lot of drummers out there were practicing very, very hard and working very sincerely. And uh, but the harder you practice, the harder the hardware suffers. And uh, there's always space for damages. And at this time, we can't uh, <coughs> uh, buy anything. We can't go. Eat, uh, we can't order anything. There's no home delivery happening for some of us. And so, uh, if you want to continue practicing, we need to find solutions from home. Also, in the normal sphere, in normal life, uh, drummers will be will be uh, packing the equipment and taking it from place to place. And in the middle of that, you can lose equipment or you can uh, damage stuff or uh, you can get stolen. So uh, we always need to have some solutions, some answers, some uh, some first aid to uh, fixing our equipment. So today I'll be focusing on the cymbal stand. One, yeah, it's a very important, very precious piece of our equipment. And um, remember, <clears throat> every link in the chain is important, right? Every part is important. In fact, sometimes the smallest nail is the most important part of the whole piece. So uh, let's check it out. And uh, before I continue about the symbols, here are some standard things I usually have at home or I take from my tours, for my concerts. Uh, let's start here with a standard brown tape, used for packaging. Uh, it's pretty nice, it's pretty strong, but it tends to leave marks. Okay, it leaves the brown marks, it's pretty sticky, and so this is for worst, worst case scenario, I use this. Uh, I have some electric tape, of course, this is also very useful, but not the strongest thing. But there's some places where we can use it. Uh, just for reference, here is the standard uh, stationary tape that we use for uh, school and things like that. <clears throat> I pretty much like this. This is a masking tape. I think this is a 3 inch masking tape. It comes in various sizes, 2 inch, 3 inch, 5 inch and all that. Uh, it's very sticky, can be very strong, uh, but also it comes off very easily. Uh, it's like those uh, yellow, you know, writing pads, those uh, sticky ones that, that doesn't leave a mark. And uh, this is used in construction, you know. Um, painters use this a lot, uh, and uh, people use this a lot. It's very nice, I prefer this to a lot of things. Um, here I have a medical tape. Okay, this is an adhesive tape, USP, self-adhesive plaster. It's made of cloth. It's pretty strong. Yeah, and uh, you can't really just cut it with your hand or your teeth even maybe. Uh, you need to cut this. Uh, it stays for a long time and uh, it's very sturdy. And uh, it's good to have this around, but uh, it can leave a mess. Okay. Um, here I have another kind of tape, it's blue first. And uh, it's pretty strong, it's pretty nice. The same problem, it can leave marks. So unless you mean to use it uh, you know, for looks, or uh, it's an emergency, real emergency, then you can use this. Then I have some aluminum wire here. This looks pretty good for certain emergencies. You can kind of various kinds of wires, iron, aluminum, uh, copper even. Okay, and uh, I have here some standard jute, jute rope. And uh, this is what I use, and as well as we use in the shops. This is a standard uh, plastic, plastic rope. Pretty good, pretty strong, and but it doesn't last too long, okay. Uh, especially outdoors, it rots in the sun. But anyway, talking about indoors, and um, these are some of the things I usually have, besides a uh, box cutter, scissors, screwdriver, and of course my drum keys, which have uh, drum keys which are all over the place. All right, so that's standard. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what I have here is a standard uh, tama symbol stand. Pretty neat design. This is a hidden uh, boom stand. You have your straight stands, standard stands, but this is a boom stand. Boom means you can boom it to the side. Okay, just put it up here. See? So you can put this in different angles. Okay, this is a very nice design. There's a tip there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this straight down. So uh, before we talk about the problems, let's talk about what we have up here. So a standard um, symbol stand uh, of a good company, a properly designed model, will have many important, many parts. Uh, in short, uh, this is your symbol tilter, okay? And uh, these pipes gives you certain extensions, telescopic, okay? This is called telescopic, this movement up and down. 
So this, I can, as you can see, it's got three sections. This symbol has three sections and a fort, the boom element. One, two, and three. Uh, right, uh, and uh, proper placement, of course, is a side topic, but make sure it's placed properly in the ground over all three legs, firm and tight, with your wing nuts firmly in place. Okay, this, by the way, is a winged nut and a winged bolt. It's a bolt, wing nut. Okay. Right. Um, <coughs> In a standard symbol stand, we'll have here the lower. Okay, I will read on this. This is a Tama model piece by the Tama company. It sits snugly over here. It's very strong plastic, and uh, this can bear the whole weight of years of beating of a symbol. And um, uh, yeah, it's a very good companion of a symbol. But there are some companies which don't even have that. In fact, you may have a regular nut and bolt on the market. They just put it over here. Okay. And then on top of that, you have this piece, a washer. Sometimes they don't even have a washer. What do you do? Okay. Now, let us talk about this particular piece that we have here right now. This is what it looks like. Okay. So you have here the simple companion. Then you have here your felt washer. I hope you know what felt is. Felt is nothing but compressed cloth. Different than the color fabric. Compressed under tons of pressure, so it's very strong. Also, it's super absorbent, absorbs sound as well. And uh, it's very good for your symbols. It pro provides protection for your symbols, by the way. Protects protect, uh, pro protection from the metal around the symbol, as well as also, <coughs> it's a muffler. So it, it cuts down on sound traveling through the metal of the stand and affecting the microphones as well and causing unnecessary sounds and it's also kind of a, a padding that's what it is to protect the symbol from hitting directly on hard metal or plastic surfaces that's why it's good to have a um, felt washer then of course we have one more felt washer up here and uh, this is a standard tama nut for symbols this is kind of a two-in-one it designed in such a way that if you have this, you don't really need a washer on top. Okay, so you can you can manage the tension of the symbols, and it's pretty firm in place. And if you do tilt your symbol for whatever reason, it prevents it from falling off. It's very firm, very nice, and that's also what a washer does. It holds things in place. Okay, and uh, washers are universal. You find them in in, in you know in rockets, in cars, in pressure cookers, in the uh, pipes in your in your kitchen. Yeah, they do research on washers. There's so many practical applications for washers. Okay. So this is how it is. So supposing you lose, okay, the first thing you could lose is let's start with the nut. Supposing you lose a nut. This is standard uh, Yamaha nut, and here's another type of wing nut that Yamaha produces and many other companies produce. So if you have a wing nut, by the way. If you have a wing nut, you will definitely need this kind of wing nut. You'll definitely need a washer. Just observe. With a washer, what it does is compresses this nut and also helps to keep the nut in place. Vibrations will cause things to loosen up, but the washer will prevent uh, easy loosening. Okay. Now, if you notice, without the nut, uh, without a washer, the nut could easily fall off. Besides that, it could dig into the felt washer all the way down. And it's not very firm, see? Not very firm, it doesn't know when to stop. It can go on and on. But with a felt washer, or with a metal washer here, which holds on snugly <coughs> to all three sections, yeah, the cymbal stand, uh, the nut, the wing nut, and the felt pad, you can snugly hold the cymbal in place. Gives you more control and better sound as well. So supposing you use, use, lose the nut, <coughs> what are the solutions? One is uh, try to find a standard nut, a regular nut. See if it fits. If it fits, okay, it's fine for now. But if you don't have one, what do you do? <coughs> I could use rope. Okay? Like I said, this is first aid. This is not permanent. It could last you for a song. It could last you for uh, the whole concert. Depends on how you tie it down. So you can tie it down nicely like so for example and of course make a nice neat knot and you should keep the symbol in place for quite some time <coughs> so first 
Eight solution is jute rope. This is pretty good. I like jute rope. We can also use this plastic rope. This of course is thinner, but it same similar. You can tie it down. Got the idea? If you don't have that, what I can do is cloth. Take a piece of fabric. You tear your shirt. Look really punk rock. Okay, and you can tie it down. Make nice knots over here. It's going to keep everything down. It can also act as a felt washer or you know to give some muffling. You could be that. You could, you could use it as that as well. For example, if you do use the washer, <coughs> the felt washer, you could use this. And on top of that, you could use the rubber washer. This by the way is a rubber washer. And on top of that, you could use a nut. Oh, uh, sorry, a uh, metal washer. Then you can screw it down. A lot of solutions. <coughs> <coughs> so for the lower section, similarly, if you lose this, if you lose the washer, then you can just clot. Okay. But uh, I also have some other solutions. I found this <coughs> packaging material. This is pretty strong foam. Okay. You've got all kinds of foams available in the market for packaging and whatnot for a sofa. Yeah. So you can take one of this, you can punch a hole through it. Yo, here you go. And you can use it for quite some time. It, these ones last pretty long. It's this packaging material. And here I have, which I use also for muffling the drums, since I live in an apartment. I cut a piece. This is from uh, AC, AC ventilation, uh, AC, uh, uh, what do you call it? <coughs> insulation, AC insulation, air conditioning insulation foam. It's pretty strong, and you can cut in a whatever shape. It's a bit rubbery in texture, so it also adds uh, all the things that you're missing from the felt washer. In fact, sometimes I prefer this also. It's nice and rubbery. So we have two, three options. Packaging foam, yes, AC duct uh, material. We can use cloth, and you can use whatever is lying around the house. So um, here we are. So first aid solutions. Uh, yeah, and uh, we put it together. <coughs> Let's take this guy. Okay. Suppose I lost the original nut. I take a washer. Press it down. Uh, I can use this nut. This wing nut. Works pretty good. So it will protect your symbol from damage. Yeah, it prevents, uh, provides a muffling, okay. gives it a cushioning, and uh, prevents uh, any kind of extra unne unnecessary, un unneeded noises. So, the power is in your hand. It's all up to your imagination. Um, yeah, take your equipment. Don't be afraid of testing and experimenting. And keep practicing. All the best. <laughs>